John Tory wants to experiment with putting pay duty police officers at some of the city's most congested intersections, part of an attempt to get traffic moving. Just one of the suggestions he's offered to unclog a chronic backlog of cars while the city continues to gather data. Other ideas? Change traffic light timing, turn restrictions as well. They would be implemented at 10 of the worst intersections around Toronto or hotspot intersections. He's uh, with us this morning here in the uh, studio to chat about this traffic plan. And, uh, good morning to you. Good morning. Once again, this time let's talk a little bit uh, about serious traffic. And traffic is a serious issue here in this city. And it's not the first time that you have come out with an idea to try and get traffic moving. We've seen the gridlock. I, uh, yeah, I would expect at the beginning of every year uh, that I'm uh, privileged to be the mayor, uh, Kevin, that I'll have new measures that we can take because it's a continuous problem. It's a problem that doesn't have an easy answer uh, and I think all we can keep doing. So for example, we're now using this data for the first time. We've had it for years, never used it. And we found the worst 10 intersections and we're now going to have a plan for each one. Some, cha some, some may involve changes in the road. Some may involve changes in the technology. You've wondered why I brought this picture. Yeah, what, what is well, I brought this picture. Right here. Uh, uh, because it, this is a cell phone from 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's a big battery pack. You carried yeah. it with a strap on your shoulder. This was what a cell phone was. We have traffic technology that is mm -hmm. running our stoplights that's from 30 years ago. So, you know, I'm trying to draw the comparison. This is what a phone was like then. We're using old equipment like that to run the traffic lights. We're going to replace it. It's going to start this year with the newest technology. It'll be rolled out in the first part of this year in 20 intersections to make the traffic move better because it, it's, a, it's causing families problems with people sitting in traffic jams. It's causing the economy problems. It's causing the environment environment problems and so that's why I continue to be focused on it. The, the driving habits of people as well. How much is this going to cost, by, by the way? Have you, have you got well, a dollar most value of these on things are, you know, the, the, putting the police officers in intersections, which is really a low-tech thing, but, you know, that, that, uh, that helps people address their habits. A police officer will point at you and say, you're not coming into this intersection and blocking traffic, and uh, that's low-tech, but that project to do it in a few intersections will cost a couple hundred thousand dollars. And I would say that I don't treat that as a small, tiny little amount of money, but at the same time, I think most uh, taxpayers would sort of say, get on with doing that if that's what it's going to cost and if it works then we can do it on a broader basis. The technology to uh, make the traffic lights uh, smarter as it were, that's going to cost millions. But in the end, again, the cost to Toronto to not address the traffic in terms of the economy, mm -hmm. the environment and families is way beyond that. What I want to see is I want to see a public education campaign because a, a, a huge part of the problem is the fact that we're all jerks on the road sometimes. You know, we don't let people in. We block intersections. We, you know, we go, we turn left past, well past the red light. I'd like to see that implemented as well. Well, it is something that I think we, we can look at doing. And there's always the question of, again, of, 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 of what return you get on that investment because mm -hmm. it costs money to do a real public education campaign to buy ads on city TV and on the radio and in the newspapers and this kind of thing. I'll Very expensive. I'll do it for free here on Breakfast Television. Uh, have you talked to the... The don't, worry <laughs> don't worry oh, about them. Don't worry about those do people do upstairs. Your I will. Okay. Do, yeah, but it, look, public education is a big part of yeah. this, and that's why a police officer, as you know, standing mm -hmm. there in the street, if they say, "Don't you dare commit to this yeah. intersection," you're going to not Definitely. do it. And hopefully, when he or she is not there, you've changed your habits and you realize you're not supposed to drive into the intersection and block the traffic. One day at a time. All right. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very you. much, John Tory, joining us uh, in the last uh, few minutes here.